Every year across the world, around 200 million people are affected by natural hazards and 250,000 are killed. This number is increasing every year. But what exactly is a natural hazard? How do we categorise them? And do all hazards pose the same risk? Are all people equally at risk of certain hazards? In this pod, we'll look at answering these questions. A natural hazard is defined as a natural process or event that has the potential to cause loss of life, damage to people and or property, and seriously disrupts human activity. Let's think about that. A fire that was caused by a lightning strike in a forest would be seen as a natural hazard, as it meets these criteria. However, a fire that was started by a leak in a chemical factory would not be a natural hazard. This is because it is not a natural occurrence. Hazards can be grouped into three types, atmospheric, tectonic and geomorphological. 80-90% to 90 of all natural hazard deaths are caused by atmospheric hazards. This is weather-related and includes hurricanes, storms, floods, droughts and wildfire. Tectonic hazards include volcanoes, earthquakes and tsunamis. The final group, geomorphological hazards, includes events that happen on the ground. This includes rock falls, mudslides and avalanches. It may help you to relate each of these categories to a different part of the environment. Atmospheric hazards relate to the sky. Geomorphological hazards relate to the ground. And tectonic hazards relate to plates moving underground. Are all places at equal risk from natural hazards? Quite simply, no. Some countries are not in the right location to be affected by hazards. For example, the UK is not on a plate boundary, so there are no earthquakes, volcanoes or tsunamis. It never has the right weather or seawater conditions to trigger hurricanes. However, the UK does have floods and storms. In Iceland, earthquakes and volcanoes are possible. The plate boundary that causes them, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, is largely under the sea. Events taking place there have a low risk. However, if the area of the boundary that splits Iceland is affected, the risk heightens. The Philippines suffers earthquakes and volcanoes due to its location on a plate boundary. It's only 12 degrees north of the equator and is also subject to hurricanes. They also have floods and droughts. The Philippines also has a low level of economic development which means it is poorly equipped to deal with natural disasters. To summarise, a similar-sized natural hazard could occur in both less and well-developed areas, but it would not have the same level of impact. This means some countries are far more vulnerable than others. <laughs>